Welcome to our Power FX series. Today we're talking about the not equal to operator, represented by the less than and greater than characters. It's a simple but powerful tool that helps you do things like compare values, check conditions, and more. Let's take a look at a simple example. Imagine you have two numbers, 5 and 10. Using the not equal to operator, you can check if 5 is not equal to 10, which returns true. This operator is key when you need to detect differences dynamically and trigger actions based on conditions. So let's jump into Power Apps. In Power Apps, the not equal to operator is perfect for setting up conditional logic of inputs. For example, if users enter numbers in different text inputs, you can check if they are not the same. Number input 1 dot text space, less than character, greater than character, space, number input, two dot text. If the values do not match, then you will have a value of true returned, as you can see on the screen. Now, over in Copilot Studio, let's say you're managing variables. You've created one called order status, and you want to check if an order has not been shipped yet. You would use topic dot order status, less than character, greater than character, and then enter the text shipped. If order status is not equal to shipped, you can trigger a follow-up notification or escalate the request. And that's the power of the not equal to operator. Whether you're comparing values, controlling access, or triggering actions when things don't match, it's an essential tool in PowerFX. If this has helped, and you would like to help the channel grow and be a part of the community, hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below.